Hey, what's happening, my fearless networking friend, Todd Falcone here. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's episode, I want to talk about what I call the project strategy, which is definitely a pathway to greater success in your network marketing business. So what does that mean, the project strategy? So as you're recruiting people and building, you know, building your organization, you're, you're bringing in new affiliates, new distributors, new reps into your company, um, you know, and it depends on what your recruiting level is. Some people recruit one a month or a couple of months. Some people recruit 50 a month. Everybody's different. Regardless of how many people that you're bringing in, or um, even if you have a month where you don't bring anybody in, which I don't think that's a great idea just to, you know, throw that out there. I think you should be putting people on your products and into your business every single month, regardless of how large or small your organization is but uh, we'll save that for another episode. The thing I wanna share with you is um, when you're bringing people into your business, what I mean with this project strategy is when you begin the month, March 1, February, April 1, what, what beginning of the month, uh, I think it would be great for you to identify one or two people that are either new in your organization or just burgeoning and getting things going. Maybe they've been in for a couple of months, or maybe it's somebody that even has been in for a while, and you take them on as a project. And even though you're working with other people throughout the month and you're you know, bringing other people in, you identify uh, at least one person, and you can't do this with everybody, but you identify one or a handful of people, and you focus you a, a lot you know you're you're giving concentrated time effort and energy to helping those quote project people drive growth in your organization now it takes a willing party right for them to you can't uh you can't what's what's the phrase you can't push a chain you can't it's impossible to push a chain it just bends right it just you know it doesn't go anywhere so the project person has to be someone who's eager and wanting to grow their business. But if you were to, you know, I don't, for lack of a better term, hold their hand, help them out, do calls with them, do reach outs with them, work with them, and take them on, a, on as a project for a period of time. You can take them on as a project for, you know, 30 days, and then you work with, you know, then you're, you know, working with a couple of other projects the next month, and then you can even come back to that person and, and, and spend more time with them. The more hands-on time that you invest in working with someone on your team, the more likely they're going to figure it out. They're going to feel like they're part of the team. They're going to feel wanted. They're going to feel valued. They're going to feel like, wow, this person is investing time with me to help me figure this thing out, to help me build this. Not to, again, not to build it for them. We never do that. But instead of going into your month and just, you know, doing your thing, as, you, as you're wrapping up whatever, the, whatever the end of the month is, okay, who's going to be my project person or my project people that I know I'm just going to focus some, some concerted time and energy on? Again, not to ignore the other people in the organization because you're going to have, you know, needs and people requests or whatever. People are going to uh, need your assistance for other stuff. But if you, if you focus, and that's the key thing is focus. I'm going to find a couple people that I'm going to focus on this month and I'm going to go, okay, look, this person's at this rank, this person's at this rank, and I'm going to go and do everything I can to help them, to work with them, to move the ball forward rather than expecting or hoping the ball to move forward. When you do this strategy, the project strategy, you're gonna find that, wow, I'm having more people rank advancing. I'm having more people figure this out. I'm having more people that are moving through the comp plan and growing. Rather than, and this is never a good strategy, sign them up, sign R, see you later, hope it works for you. That's never a good strategy. So again, it doesn't have to be the project person or the project people don't have to be 
brand new people. You could take on a project that's been in the business for six months, a year, two years, and say, hey, John, Todd Falcone, what's up, brother? Listen, I want to, you know, um, are, are, you, are you interested in advancing the growth of your business as we move into May? He's like, yeah, I am. Well, look, what, what I want to do is I want to spend time with you this month and work with you to help you achieve whatever your goal is over the next 30 days. So I want to spend some time with you. Are you game for that? And most people are like, yeah, man, let's go. And not everybody, of course, but many people are, are eager and very interested in having you help them and work with them. So it, it, it really does involve you specifically identifying who those people are. And by the way, I won't use the word project. Hey, John, you're going to be my project guy this month. I don't use that word. This is, what, this is the strategy. That's what I call the strategy. But I don't tell them, hey, you're my project this month. But again, if you, I mean, look at, look at projects that we're working on, you know, uh, for example, I've got a river property and we're getting ready to build, uh, it's very, you know, out in the boonies, uh, you know, there's no electricity, there's no power, there's no water. And I guess electricity and power is the same thing. So, um, but we have, you know, we have a place to use the restroom and, but we've never had a shower there. So this month we're building a, a, an extension on this small building so you can do an outdoor shower. So if you're camping out for a week, you can you know, ha take a warm shower and be clean. That's a project, right? And so that project, there's gonna be a start date. We're gonna, we're gonna plan it out. So we're, we've, we've, we, first of all, we had to get approval for the project for this. Then we have to get whatever necessary supplies, wood, nails, whatever is required. And then we're gonna start the project and that project is going to have a start and an end date. You know, we don't know what the end date is necessarily, but there's, it's, we're going to start the project and then we're going to finish the project until the project's done. And so if you, if you look at working with people, and it's not like after 30 days you're done, I'm not done with you, I'm never going to work with you again, but you can, you can take a timeline, and I like the 30-day timeline. I'm going to take, take on a couple people that I'm going to really dive into, I'm going to really focus on, I'm going to really do everything I can to help those people. And, you know, and then, you know, you might do it for more than 30 days, for sure. But, you know, you really help a couple people get going, get moving, get into a groove over 30 days. Next month, you're working with another handful, of small group of people. That, that concentrated time, that uh, personal time that you're spending with them is so much more impactful in terms of their growth, their skill development. Uh, you know, just everything about the situation is going to be better than if they're just doing it all by themselves. I did a live on this subject recently where we, you know, the, the phrase that's used all the time in, in our profession, you know, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And in fact, I did a, I'm pretty sure I did a post about this too a few, few weeks ago. Well, I don't know about you, but for the most part, we're solopreneurs. We're by ourselves. You know, there's nobody, my family's downstairs in the house, but there's, you know, it's not like I have a team here that's, you know, oh, my I'm surrounded, you're not surrounded by your downline every single day. So if you create opportunities to work with, either physically with, if they're within a, you know, a, a, a reasonable, you know, drive to your house, that's even more powerful. So if you're spending time working side by side with somebody, that's infinitely more powerful than, you know, I got somebody across the country in Florida and I'm working with them. Now, not to say it can't be done. It can absolutely be done long distance through calls, through Zooms, through, you know, we got, we've got the tools to do it. Uh, but better yet, if you have the opportunity to work hand in hand with somebody and take them on as a project, the learning, the confidence, the activity, everything goes up. So... If you've never like sat there and go, okay, I'm going to, who am I taking on as a project or who are the people that I'm going to take on as a project this month? Now might be the time. And I, I can tell you this, it is absolutely a pathway to greater success. You're going to keep people longer. You're going to see greater successes. You're going to see more rank advancements, but it's up to you to make that decision and make that move. So anyhow, if you're on, my, if you're on YouTube, what's up YouTubers? If you're on my podcast, what's up podcast people? Love you guys. Listen 
come back over to my website for this particular episode. Love your comments, love your feedback, toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 125. That's where you'll find the details of this particular episode. Thanks for being here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh